What's going on, guys? This is Pete, tdicewits.com. Hope you guys are doing great. A question was asked, and it made me immediately think. <laughs> immediately. This question is from a person I look up to, a person that, that I am inspired by, a person that I admire to be, a person that is uh, that has led me into the path that I, I'm taking now. Question is, what is perfect? Now you can take that any way possible. You can take that in ways that, you know, what's perfect in your life? What's going to be perfect for you? When is it ever going to be perfect? When is your day ever going to be what you want it to be? When is this day ever going to be? When is perfect going to be perfect for you? When are you ever going to stop striving to do stuff? When are you ever going to stop thinking about being better? When is this? So many questions that can that arise right now is, what is perfect? And he puts this out there for us to answer. And I answered with this. I wake up this morning. The lady, who's my wife, is in bed, still resting. I'm up early. I'm enjoying the videos that I'm making this morning. I'm enjoying the process of my work day as I type away on the computer. I take my dogs out for a walk. I get their food ready. I'm cooking an egg frittata so we have food for the day. Is anything extravagant? No. Leftovers, food with some eggs and vegetables, and I just put it into a thing and I baked it. Main reason I baked is because it was cold this morning and I didn't want to turn the heat on, so I just baked instead. The sun is out. The snow is on the ground. I have laundry and I have clothes on to keep myself warm. I made myself a cup of bulletproof coffee. I have a camera that I could talk to the world to. I took my wife to work. I got to say goodbye to my wife. I gave her a kiss on the lips, and I let her know I love her. I took my dogs to the park right after. We went out, played with some geese, but they chased them. I just hung out there. And I know today I'm going to see my brother. I already talked to LJ via text message. I know when I go to work, I'm going to have a bunch of friends waiting for me that are ready to achieve their goals. I'm doing tons of things today. That's just going to make my life a little bit better. So right now, at this moment, from 5 o'clock this morning to 7.42, life is perfect. So, if you want to ask again, what is perfect? To me, that's perfect. And if all the stuff in the next couple hours become right, and I get to see awesome people, and I get to see my family, and my brother, and my, my cousin, and my other coaches, and the people within our gym, you can label this day as perfect. Most of the time, we look at the day, and the reason it's not perfect is because we don't appreciate what's in front of us. We don't appreciate the things that we did already, within the first couple hours of the day, that might be what you need. Waking up, having someone to love, having someone love you back, a family, food on the table, clothes to keep you warm, a house for shelter, the weather is nice, something to communicate with people, a job that you love. So right now, I'm going to say, today's a perfect day. But most of the time, it's me who complicates the day that makes it not perfect. It's my own brain and our own brain that fill it up with stuff. And we forget about the small things that make the day something we'd like to call perfection. So, think about that and ask yourself, 
what is perfect to you. Because no matter what you do today, no matter what happens right now, I've already had a perfect start. So, this is Pete, PeteIsis.com. Hope you guys are doing great, and I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your life.